Voy a poner una ropa de colores, que es algo que no he hecho en mi vida adulta. I feel so weird. <laughs> But, I mean, it does look cool, but I feel really weird. It's a new look, man. Como en toda gran ciudad, en Toronto hay muchas cosas que ver. Parques, monumentos, museos, pero también existe una escena de artistas independientes que han creado sus propios espacios para desarrollar sus proyectos. La ciudad de Toronto se encuentra en la costa noreste del lago Ontario. Es la ciudad más grande de Canadá. Y además de ser el centro financiero y comercial del país, Cuenta con cientos de museos, galerías y teatros. También en la calle puedes encontrar murales de artistas locales y tiendas de diseñadores independientes. En Toronto se siente la hermandad de las culturas que le dan su identidad. Hay música bien perra, comida bien rica y arte por todas partes. Vamos a cotorrear con algunos artistas locales para que nos cuenten qué es lo que esta ciudad ofrece. El arte urbano juega un papel tan importante en la ciudad de Toronto que incluso existe una zona llamada Graffiti Alley, una calle en donde los artistas más importantes han dejado su marca en las paredes. Fui con Elixir, un artista visual originario de Toronto, para que me explique un poco sobre la escena de graffiti. Uh, I've been painting in these alleys for more than 12 years now. I'm like an old school cat when it comes to uh, Toronto graffiti. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my memorial piece. For, This right here? Uh, yeah. Son you did that Soul. as well? Yeah, Son of Soul, King Rain. Trying to prop them out there like uh, some artists uh, that died a couple years back. So I just kind of wanted to give them a memorial spot. My job now to fill in all the negative space where kids could reach, you know, or you could put like Sammy and, and Jenny loves each other forever and then take a picture of that and then that's in their wedding photos, you know. Graffiti Alley tiene casi un kilómetro de distancia en el cual aún existen pintas de la antigua guardia que van desde artistas de Nueva York, Los Ángeles y por supuesto Toronto. Voy caminando sobre Church Street la avenida principal aquí en Gay Village, camino a platicar con Evelyn, en un teatro queer que se llama Buddies in Bad Times. Toronto es el hogar de la mayor población LGBT de Canadá, y lugares como Buddies in Bad Times, que llevan más de 40 años existiendo, hablan sobre una ciudad progresista que celebra la creatividad de la comunidad gay en la ciudad. The work at Buddies is LGBTQ, to us work, we're programming, supporting, developing queer, trans, two-spirit artists um, and collectives. A community that's very much in transition. As Toronto is gentrifying and densifying, condo development is coming closer and closer. I think in the next few years, we're really going to see a shift. So many more people will live in this few block radius. Once upon a time, 40 years ago, this was the gay village, the gay area. This is where, if you wanted to kind of have access to that lifestyle and be among your people, that's where you were. Now, queer people and queer culture is much more dispersed in the city. There's a whole West End scene. There's an East End scene. There's much, you know, the, it's been decentralized and more um, integrated into lots more cultural spaces. Lots of theaters are programming explicitly gay work. We're certainly in a very different time, which is a wonderful time to be in, in Toronto, where the, it feels like the doors are much more open. La rica y diversa escena artística de Toronto tiene algo para cada amante del arte. Eso es Queen Street, una calle con muchos restaurantitos y muchas tiendas aquí en Toronto. Voy a ver a Hailey, una diseñadora que hace cosas muy chidas. I use my imagination as like an escape. 
um, out of my really ordinary life. So I used to like come up with all these stories and just like daydream all the time. And eventually with my brand, that turned into kind of, I like to say like creating like little mini movies in my head about the collection. So I come up with just like a story, um, just kind of share the deeper meaning that I'm trying to portray. But at the same time, still keeping it really fun and wearable. This is my favorite print from the collection. It's the, what inspired the name, Clam Dunk. So it's a little shell with a little basketball inside. This one's really fun. Toronto is um, definitely one of the most multicultural cities in the world. And I think it just makes sense to have a representation of that on the runway too. Like having um, a realistic depiction of what you would see walking down the street in Toronto on the runway it just makes sense. This is, I think, the scariest thing I've done. <laughs> it's not that scary. It's, it's really not. scary. <laughs> you may be a new man. You're going to start wearing pink every day. You're going to dye your beard pink, and we're going to change you, you know? Here you go. Here you go. All right. <laughs> the pants might be a bit tight, but we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because whenever I thought about wearing They're tight pants, I thought they were going to be pink. You know? <laughs> Nunca me he puesto ropa de colores. The bomber jacket's a little tight, but... It's okay. It's my jacket, so you're just borrowing it. I'm gonna call them out. Yeah, they're flashy, so you gotta step up. It's either this or a face tat, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! It oh. feels yes. so weird. Pinky boy. I, you know, I never wear, worn pink pants before. Love it. It looks great. Me siento raro. Pero me siento bien. You gotta do a spin no. or something. I gotta spin? Yeah. Like, like, like. There you go. Yo llegué a Toronto pensando que iba a ser un lugar frío, nevado tal vez, pero realmente me di cuenta que es un lugar lleno de color, lleno de gente bien chida. Toronto realmente me encantó.